Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. Today, we're gonna do a guided meditation around hope and renewal. On a daily basis, we may have some adversity and challenge that comes our way. There's always room for hopefulness. And even sometimes during moments of days, you know, whether it be conflict in a relationship or an injury or whatever we're going through, it helps sometimes to remember that we could tap into our strength, our resilience, and also recognize that we've gone through hard times before. And the power is within us, not outside of us. So if you feel comfortable enough, you can sit up straight and close your eyes. Just allow your body to relax. Feel your breath and the air going in and out of your lungs. And pay attention to your posture. back and feel the stretch of your spine as you're sitting up tall something that you're going to be going through, something that may be a challenge, a conversation that maybe you're avoiding, or a task that may be challenging, whatever it is. A moment in time where hope could be really helpful and beneficial. Maybe you lost connection with your hope. That's a time you could remind yourself of your strength and resilience. comes up for us intermittently throughout our days where we just feel maybe exhausted and we just need a reminder some renewal So when we think of hope, tap into where you may feel that, and deep in your heart, and imagine opening up that heart chakra and allowing room and space for hope. And Magic Johnson says, all kids need is a little help, a little hope, and somebody who believes in them. And that is true for our hope. Just a little bit of hope could get us to take action, to work harder, to believe in ourselves. That 
choices in your hand. And according to Joseph Addison, three grand essentials to happiness in this life are something to do, something to love, and something to hope for. And identifying what you hope for can compel you towards a goal or an objective. If you hope for better health, it could lead you to exercise and wellness. If you yearn for more connected relationships, it could compel you towards generosity and compassion. Identify and allow that ray of hope to lead you towards a goal. According to Arson Martin, there is no medicine like hope, no incentive so great, and no tonic so powerful as expectation of something better tomorrow. There is always tomorrow. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, we have always held to hope, the belief, the conviction that there is a better life, a better world beyond the horizon. We don't have to settle for what is, and even in the midst of uncertainty and things we cannot control, there are still elements we can control our attitude, our perseverance. We have choices always. And Lillian Hellman says, things start out as hopes and end up as habits. Desmond Tutu says, hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all the darkness. Never give up, never give up on yourself. And Albert Hubbard says, a little more persistence, a little more effort, and what seemed hopeless failure may turn to glorious success. There is always room for success. And Jonas Salk says, hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality. And Robert Schuller says, let your hopes, not your hurts, shape your future. Things that happen to us that are sometimes out of our control could be very painful, very challenging. Let your hopes shape your future. 
And Takna Han says, hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. And noting that it's temporary and that we can get through anything because of our human resilience. And you have the ability to do that with persistence and effort and a positive attitude and mindset could accomplish anything. So whenever you're feeling discouraged, always tap into your hope. When I count to three and when you're ready, you could open your eyes. One, two, three.